Hello friends, this is Martin from Dealey Environmental and I'm here to tell you about tippity top brand new bait boxes versus old ones that might be on some of the sites that we take over. Now here's a newly installed bait box. You can see that the technician's proud of it because he's just taken a video. What's that on the front? It's a label with all of our contact details in case you need to contact us. It also has exactly what's inside the bait box. The bait box is also anchored in so that nobody can pick it up, shake it around and just generally wave the bait around. Now, let's have a little, little look inside. These are tamper-proof lockable bait boxes. So the technician has a key, there it is, and he's opening it up. Now, that's the key. Most bait boxes that you see from older sites aren't actually lockable. Now you see that all of the bait inside is bagged up neatly as well, and the bag is pinched into the lid so that it can't be moved around. Now an animal has to actually go in there and gnaw at the bag to be able to get the bait out. Now look at this old bait box. That's actually got a rock on top instead of having a lock. That's uh, not, the, not the best way of keeping a lid down because we know that things like dogs and things like badgers can easily pry those things off to be able to get into the delicious bait inside. Having a look inside, the situation doesn't improve much. The bait is absolutely everywhere, meaning that anything that decides to go into that box can have a nice nibble of the tasty treats that are inside. That includes all sorts of non-target species, as we call them. And we get a little bit wound up about this. Please put the rock back on, Lewis. Thank you. Right, let me tell you why we get wound up about it. When we uh, do our thing at Dealey, we decide to delve into all of the scientific literature that we can find. And luckily, we've got some betters just across the channel who have been doing exactly this work. Look at this bait box. Now there's blue bird poo there. Blues, birds aren't meant to have blue bird poo. They're meant to have white bird poo. This one has clearly been eating some blue rat bait inside and then pooing it outside. Also, we come across things like this. Robin's nests inside bait boxes. Clearly, they quite like bait boxes. To inform us on this one, we turn to the geeks across the channel. K-A-D, which in Dutch is... Kennis en Advicentrum Deer Plagen. Spot on. Now, they did a study where they put footprint traps inside lots of bait boxes to see what sort of animal was going inside, and then they made a study of what these footprints belonged to. And the, the results were actually quite shocking. Now, as you can see from this chart, the most, most things that went in them was actually slugs and snails. Uh, so these things are going in and having a little go at any uncovered bait and they can uh, then go outside and be eaten by a thrush or a robin or something like that and then all of the bait goes nat into the natural environment, something that we're trying to avoid by bagging bait up. Also, birds going inside. We don't want the bait to be freely available to any animal going in, just the ones that gnaw. And of course, rodent, rodere, is Latin for gnaw. We want the things that are gnawing. So, if you go back to your old bait box, you can see everything is freely available. It's a wooden bait box. Yeah, it might be effective that it doesn't smell of plastic and so rats aren't as scared of it, but our bait box, we just prefer it if the, our, our poison isn't as readily available to non-target species and poisoning the natural environment. So that's why we get so wound up about people who don't use proper bait boxes on their sites. And also, if customers think they're doing us a favour by baiting the bait boxes, they're really not. All they're doing is adding poison into the natural environment. So please, leave your bait boxes alone and look at your bait boxes if you're not one of our customers and make sure they're up to date and tippity top. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.